Hello and welcome to the space that gives you inspiration on work, on life and how to balance both worlds. I hope you have your cup of coffee, your tea, your wine or whatever tickles your fancy, a pen and a pencil and a notepad because things are gonna get serious. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and even hit that notification bell, bell so you know every time a video goes up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the statement is coming. It's becoming stronger. Are you feeling it? It's becoming stronger. <laughs> uh, but anyway, welcome back from the end of the first quarter of the year. We now start the second quarter, April, May, and June. Like we're now in the middle. Like we're now in the gist of the month. Like this of the year. This this is the real year. Now we are in the year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, for the past three months, I've been talking about purpose, okay? And it, it stems all the way from, you know, I first shared with you guys who I am and what I do. I answered lots of questions so that you might understand me. And then I went on to talk about love and my partner being a part of my papa's journey and then we spoke on femininity and womanhood like why why did god create me as a woman like what exactly one was in his mind as he created me to be a woman and i've shared with you guys um if you've not if you don't know, I have I have an entire series on purpose um, that I did last year. So you can go on there and watch. For now, I'll just be sharing more and more about what I've learned about purpose over the, you know, since the last time we talked about it. Um, but I'm really, really big on purpose because I've shared with you what my purpose here on earth is. It's to call out, to challenge, to motivate, to inspire mothers to their God-given innate ability, okay? To balance work and life. Because when you look at the Proverbs 31 woman, that's exactly what she does. She balanced life and work. And so that's what I'm here for. I share with you my own journey, what I am learning, what I am implementing, what I'm experiencing on my own personal journey for work-life balance. And I hope you find inspiration in the same way. Now, my purpose talks about, you know, our God-given innate ability to maximize our full potential at work maximizing your full potential at work because you see everything that we do out of life is work okay but if you're going into a workplace if you're going into a workspace what exactly are you working on and is what you're working on what you're supposed to work on because you see here's the thing when when you create something um when anybody creates anything in this life yeah the person who creates um a flower the person who creates a camera a person who creates a dress a person who creates a shoes somebody who creates a house someone who creates anything in this world as long as someone creates something they create it for a purpose and here is an interesting thing there is no one who creates anything with the intention for it to fail. So we have been created by God, right? One, for a purpose and for us to succeed. So if you're ever at a place in your life where you feel like you're not succeeding, chances are really high that you're not walking in purpose. And that's why. So think about it if you got a flat iron yeah a flat iron is meant to iron <laughs> clothes and it has different kinds of clothes to iron cotton silk polyester uh but if you put it on polythene it will burn it has it has it done its job is it hot yes is it supposed to flatten yes but on the wrong thing you you will not say it has worked you know what i mean 
it will have destroyed so likewise we when we when we step out of our purpose we are bound to make mistakes we are bound to destroy we are bound not to be happy we're about so many things so how do you know that you're walking in purpose i hope that that's a question that you're asking one you love what you do you absolutely love what you do you could do it in your you know sleep i was gonna say you do it in your sleep but that's a different facet of knowing that you're that knowing something is your purpose so let me let me just stick with you love it you love it you could do it forever and ever so think about the work that you're doing right now and if you could do it day and night weekend upon weekend month after month year after year all your life you're sitting and walking in your purpose now i don't mean i don't mean working in the same job having the same business i don't mean working in the same um, organization i don't mean doing the same role that's not what i mean when i talk about purpose because you see when god created you when he knit you in your mother's womb he wasn't saying oh her purpose in life is to be an accountant that's not how purpose works uh purpose is not is not it's not defined as a job it's that when you do your job the result of your job then is your purpose i don't know if that makes sense i hope that makes sense the result of the work you do meaning say for example let me give a uh, just a simple a simple example okay there's people in this life whose purpose is to make people look good okay so they might work at a salon they might work in a nail parlor they might work as a fashion designer they might work in a boutique they might work on skin they might work on hair. Do you realize what do you realize that all of these things make someone look good? So the purpose is not the job. So I don't want to say because I hate going to the saloon day and night and day and night maybe that's not my purpose. And yet deep down you know you desire for people to look good. Okay? Therefore, if your desire is for people to look good, the fact that you don't like being in the saloon going to your workplace at the saloon doesn't mean that your purpose was to work in a saloon your purpose still remains to make people look good it's just how you're doing it that's the problem and so you might need to try and go and nail dry, try a nail parlor try working on people's skin try try being a, doing facials try doing different other things that make women or people look good or feel good you understand what i mean so purpose is not a job it's the result of the job okay so say for example a person who does uh, camera work okay you don't say that you you because you don't like doing the camera work maybe you're doing the wrong job you know i'm now talking to my brother <laughs> but he absolutely loves it <laughs> but his his purpose wouldn't be oh it is to hold cameras and to videograph no his purpose could be to communicate to the world to connect with the world that's what his purpose is now i'm just saying this these small statements but that's not how purpose also is either it's not just those small statements but i just want to kind of use quick words so that you can get what i mean purpose in terms of a statement is a long statement not very long but a long statement that has more meaning than to communicate with the world or to connect with the world now if we are to use communicate and connect but like i've said that's not the how the full sentence is shouldn't be purpose is not like that but let's take that for an example it can be done in different ways it can be done through these cameras it can be done through photography it can be done through the media it can be done in so many different ways so purpose is not a job it's the result of the job so if you don't love the result of your job okay if you don't even see it if you don't see that the fact that you work inside a bank is to provide like 
deep down the purpose of uh, for example working in a bank is to help people know the power of money if you don't see it every day you go to work and therefore love the fact that you're an accountant in a bank that's helping people then see the power of money then you're probably in a wrong you don't know your purpose you probably don't know your purpose or in, you're in the wrong space to help you fulfill your purpose okay so the first way to know whether you're working in your purpose is if you love what you do the result of what you do should be able to bring you the fulfillment fulfillment the love that you can do it over and over and when somebody asks you to do more you can still do more when you fall you can still rise up again and do it um you know i've been going through this in you know past two years the cradle has been closed immediately they opened us up I was at it again in a whole new location. It's a whole new business altogether. I kept hoping and praying and crossing my fingers that by the virtue of the fact that we'd been here seven years, we would already have market when we open. But no, it's a whole new business. And guess what? I am doing it again. Why? The result of it is the mother. And I'm thinking of her. Every day I come up to sit and do these YouTube videos. That's what it's about for me. That I will, I can do it over and over and over and over again. Because the result of it for me is the mother. The woman that I talked about in my papa statement. The mother okay so you must be able to love it okay if you want to know if you're working in purpose you must be really good at what you're doing really good at it extremely good at it things where i mean i was in a meeting um a few weeks back where a friend of mine said if my name is on this project i care about this project because my name is on this project and so she's in a space in her life where she has to do her absolute best. And that's how I see life when it comes to purpose. That you're so good at something. If you're, if you're not good at it, you're building the skill to be good at it. You must be good at what you do if you're working in purpose. And if you're not, then you need to find the avenue that leads to your purpose which you are really good at, okay? If your purpose is to make people look good, again, like I say, that's such a short statement, brief to make people look good. It's too brief for a purpose statement, but I'm using it for example's sake, okay? If your purpose is to make people look good, find out which one, which one, or the different ways that you can make people look good, are you so good at? so good it comes easy is it making clothes is it selling clothes is it their skin is it their hair what exactly do you do so well like where if we were at a meeting okay and somebody said ah you guys who knows where the best i can get the best decor people already have names immediately your name comes to mind first um, guys, I'm looking for an accountant. Your name comes to mind first. Because you see, if you're doing the other thing that we talked about, where you're thinking about the end result, and you're really good, you know, the end result for a banker, we had said it's to show people the power of money, and now you're an accountant. Imagine if that's how you approach the profit and loss statement, that you're teaching people the power of money. That's your purpose here on earth. Do you know how you'd approach your profit and loss, a profit and loss statement for a client? It would be more than a job. You would be putting in more and you'd be so good at it because you're putting in more, you've added more skill, you're reading more, you're, get, you're getting deeper into developing the skill. So to know if you're working in purpose, one, you absolutely love it. Two, you're absolutely good at it good at it you keep getting better and better right i was listening to um a sermon the other day by miles monroe and he was saying something about the way god created earth he said when god created like say for example in the first day he created light he said that when he created light he said by the end of the day the bible says that and he saw that it was good 
okay? And Miles Monroe was challenging us to, to, to ask ourselves, why didn't, we, why didn't he say it was excellent? Why? And Miles was saying to us that maybe it's because we as humans, the ones who he left to tend the garden, he knew that we would make it better. He had given us his image that we could make it even better. So it was good. It can get better and, can, and it can be the best. Okay? So whatever it is you're doing, you can get better. Guess what? Even the scripture says that you have been filled with, a, with God's might, with Christ's mind. Can you imagine? You have Christ. You guys are side preaching. I am about, I'm about, I'm about. Do you see me? <laughs> Have you had the scripture about, um, have you seen the scripture about Bezalul? I think it's Bezalul, Bezalel, Bez, that name, you know. A very young man who was filled with the skill, okay, <laughs> of wood carving, gold, silver, stones, gems, over everything. Have you ever found a carpenter who's really good, good at gold mining or gold? Have you ever? Absolutely not. But he was. We have been filled with, the Bible says that he was filled with the skill, with the knowledge, with the understanding. Like at the point, he was filled with the spirit. But the day you give your life to Christ, you're filled with a spirit that gives you the skill, the knowledge, the understanding for that which you do. So imagine how much skill you have in your purpose. <laughs> this excites me. So you so <laughs> you know you're working in purpose when you love what you do. You're really good at what you do. But three, it solves people's problems. It solves it solves a problem. You're meeting a need that the world has. And I'm not talking about, you see, I I just love God and I love his variety, okay? See, I'm concerned for how women balance their work and their life, right? Somebody else is concerned for the children that don't have water in I don't know where. Somebody else is concerned about people in war-torn areas. Uh, a man like Bill Gates is concerned about our climate. Another person is concerned about the condition of our city. Another person is concerned about what clothes people wear. Another person, God, God has so much variety that each of us, none, none of us telling others what they should be concerned about, you know. I can't come up here and tell you all to be concerned about our work-life balance. No, that's a personal thing. And I can't tell you to, that's a burden for me, actually. Let me say it like that. When, when, you, when, you, when you're walking in purpose, you have such a deep burden to solve. And it's so deep. If, to be honest, if you don't feel a certain burden, every time you walk out your door to go and work, like if you don't feel there is a certain burden bigger than you, over you, stronger than you, that you, you realize that you're a part of solving that problem, then you're not walking in purpose. If for you what you wake up and do every day is go and work and get money, uh, go and work and uh, spend your life somewhere for eight hours because you need to be a responsible adult. If that's you, then you're not walking in purpose. You need to check yourself. A person that's walking in purpose has a deep burden that they want to solve. And this deep burden doesn't have to be so sad and with gory details and you know our children are dying of poverty and people have malaria and uh, there's a pandemic no it can be connection mark zuckerberg's biggest burden was the world connecting see what he's done with his purpose <laughs> see the power of walking in your purpose you know what i mean um you talk about people who created the internet they were not thinking about the poor boy with poverty, in, in dying in poverty, no. Because of the variety of who we are, we, we are all, God did not make us all to work in NGOs, non-governmental organizations. God did not make all of us, no. He gave you, actually now, this is a very good time for me to address a certain question. I have gotten quite a number of times in my DMs. People asking me, why what I do is only for the second upper class or for the upper class woman? Why aren't I reaching out to the poor woman? 
I think this is a very good video for me to do that. Rinaldi, do I have time? A few minutes. No, I don't. Later in the year. I feel so sad. Please. No. Maybe I should do this in a live session. But maybe really, just really briefly. I don't reach out to the poor woman. I reach out to the woman that reaches the poor woman. You see, if that woman, the head of NSSF, the head of uh, UNRWA, the head of, if she's having challenges with her children, she can't be in that position. And so if she's not in that position, she can't think about the poor woman. So as opposed to trying to reach 40 poor women, 400 poor women, if I just reached 20 women of influence, those 20 women would reach over 40,000 poor women if they stayed in the jobs that they're supposed to do because their children were well taken care of. The fourth and last thing, if you want to know if you are working in purpose, you should put food on your table. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Papas puts food on your table. Purpose is not a calling. Purpose is not a, a, a passion. Purpose is not a career. Purpose, therefore, should put food on your table. Purpose should be able to make you wealthy in accordance to the will of the Lord and our Father, Jesus Christ. Your purpose, my purpose, is meant to help me expand the kingdom of heaven. And if the kingdom of the world has been expanded through the power of mammon, so shall the kingdom of heaven. We are going to use money. We need to use money to build churches. Bricks are not bought on prayers. Br uh, cement is not bought on prayers. They are bought with... <laughs> they are bought with money. And so your purpose here on earth to expand the kingdom of heaven you need money and so your purpose is to facilitate the obtainance of this money that will help us grow the kingdom of heaven so let me know in the comment section are you working in purpose do you know your purpose let me know what it is in the, let me know that you are working in that you are working in purpose you know your purpose and also let me know what your purpose is. Maybe there's some of you in there who I'm supposed to collaborate with and work with. And I don't know you. So let me know in the comment section what your purpose is. Those of you that know your purpose, plus those who have no idea what your purpose is, also you in the comment section, let me know. But here is something else. Apart from being in our comment section, I have something for you. My friend, D. Muhereza and I, have advanced <laughs> brandivas and now we bring to you the purpose circuit 52 weeks of walking together in purpose in these 52 weeks we shall have masterminds we shall have master classes we shall have live sessions we shall have courses we shall have tools we shall give you tools we shall give you templates we shall give you resources to help you walk in your purpose but this is a community and so together with one another we can be a force a movement of people walking together in purpose for an entire year for only five hundred thousand shillings which is what forty thousand a month you get all of these and more when we walk together in the purpose circuit i'll leave all the information on the purpose circuit in the description box below by now you've already we've already done one month of the circuit and you still have time to join us okay until next time i can't wait to see you bye bye